what to ditch and what to keep in your closet. I get asked this question all the time. I get Instagram DMs, YouTube comments. So today I am gonna tell you what to retire from your closet and what to adopt. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim. I'm a fashion stylist. For those of you who do, welcome back. I'm always excited to see you guys. I will be down below when I launch this video answering your questions and saying hi to you. So remember to say hi to me and everyone else down in the comments below. This is in response to a bunch of questions that I've had. People asking me in comments, I don't know what to get rid of out of my closet. I have done a really popular video. You can check that out here. That is five tips and tricks to get rid of stuff in your closet, but today I'm going to tell you specifically, specific items for spring 2020. So if you're watching this video three years, five years from now, listen, where's a whole nother thing going on. Let's start with the number one thing. And that is skinny jeans. When they came, I think everyone was like, no, this is never going to happen because low rise was all the rage. And then the skinny jeans have been around for a really, really long time. However, the skinny jeans finally are on their way out. And when I mean on their way out, it's to the point where you no longer really reach for those. They don't really feel totally right. If you love them and you're listening to this video and you're like, I'm never gonna get rid of my skinny jeans. That's totally fine. I'm just saying, if you're looking for trends and you're wondering what's actually happening, this is happening. Skinny jeans are done. And I know this for myself. I can't even remember the last time I've reached for a pair of my skinny jeans. I just don't enjoy them anymore. I go to reach for them in my closet. I'm like, ugh, I don't want those. And I have a bunch of pair of like mom jeans, straight leg jeans. Like my jeans right now are all high rise. They're wide leg, they're flare, they're, um, they're crop flare. That's the style that I'm just gravitating towards. And I think because I'm looking at fashion all the time, those are all the images that I'm seeing. Those are the things that I'm trying on in the stores or used to try on in the stores. So those are what to adopt. And so when I say straight leg, I'm talking about just jeans that go straight down. So I have a brand new pair on that I got from Mother Denim. I absolutely love these. These are a straight leg crop. This is the, my favorite brand for my body type. So if you are like me, an inverted triangle, Mother's a great brand for you. H&M is also a great brand for you. They have a great pair of straight leg jeans. So you can try those on if you're not sure how to wear them. Just Google straight leg jeans street style or um, wide leg jeans street style. And you'll see a bunch of images come up and it'll give you inspiration. And if you're thinking about your body type, everything is about balance. So if you're wanting to know, well, which type of jeans are best for you, check out this video I have on dress right for your body type. It is one of my most popular videos. It'll give you some tips and tricks on how to balance your body type. Number two, what to retire from your wardrobe. We are coming into spring, summer 2020. Retire all of those dark blazers the tweed blazers, the black blazers. And when I say retire, I'm not saying get rid of them. I'm just saying, put them in the back of your closet, put them in a storage container. We are coming into spring and summer. I'll give you another tip actually. If you actually remove the winter fall items out of your closet, when you go back to get them, it's kind of like having new clothes. It actually refreshes them a little bit. So if you have a storage place to hang your winter stuff, it's a great thing to do. So what's trending right now is kind of like those watercolors, the pastel the pinks, sort of like the candy colored. So trying on something like a baby blue blazer, a yellow one, a pink one, an orange one, tangerine's huge this season. So any of those kind of like watercolor, like juicy fruit colors, that's trending. So retire the dark blazers and bring in some fun ones. A white blazer is definitely a staple for you. So add that, but have some fun, add some color. And for something like that, that's trendy, you don't want to spend a lot of money, go check out the secondhand stores. There's lots of options there and go shop your favorite stores or shop your friend's closet, your mother's closet, whatever. But find yourself a really great watercolored, candy colored blazer. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this moment? I am the queen of saying and hammering into you all that you need the basics, you need the basics. Well, today I'm gonna say, push those basics aside and you want to adopt any type of top with shoulder pads. So this is a really huge trend right now. And actually, if you are someone that's 
capable of adding shoulder pads. Okay, here's the thing. So I'm talking about retiring like the basic white tees, the basic tanks, the basic black dress. If you wanna up your game and your trend factor, and when I say retire, again, I'm not talking about like chucking them never check the basics unless they're stained or hold or pilled, but you want to add some shoulder pads. So there's so many pieces out there that are so cute. I've seen some really great tank tops with shoulder pads. I've seen some dresses with shoulder pads. So check that out. We are heading full steam ahead into the nineties. I personally love that look. And if you're wondering if you can wear it, you can. It's about balancing out your body type. So I'm actually an inverted triangle. So we know the inverted triangles, we don't need any help in the shoulders. We are already feeling like linebackers compared to our lower bodies. However, I can still wear shoulder pads. I just need to add some volume on the bottom of my body. So that's like a wide skirt, um, some wide leg jeans, just anything like that. Anyway, look for the shoulder pads. The next thing I'm gonna suggest, and you guys are gonna be all over this because you have all been in your homes for a very long time. So a lot of us were wearing hoodies. Well, you'll be really excited to know that one of the things I'm suggesting to ditch is the hoodie. Again, just put it aside in your closet, but add in an oversized cardigan. I'm seriously in love with this trend. There are so many. So you can get out there, you can literally type in oversized cardigan or oversized cardigan street style, a bunch will come up. You can throw that on in your house, even with a pair of sweats and runners, an oversized cardigan looks cool. But with your wide leg jeans, your straight jeans, a big oversized cardigan, a t-shirt, a tank, a whatever works for you, you could dress it up, dress it down. It's a piece that I love. That is something that you're gonna wanna look for and adopt into your wardrobe. So bike shorts came in and I'm telling you now there are something that you should retire. If you want to run in them, that's fantastic. If you still like them and you like to wear your big sweatshirts with them and your like slouch socks, it's a thing. Keep them if you want. But if you're looking for something new, which you want to adopt into your closet is actually the Bermuda short. It is such a cool look. I'm sure there's women out there that are like, yeah. So, I mean, the Bermuda short is really trending. They did a lot of sets with them with like oversized blazers and Bermuda shorts. I love that look. You can put on Bermuda shorts, tuck in a white shirt, wear them with a tank top. It is amazing. I love it. Throw it on with like a kitten, um, nude strappy heel, throw them on with a pair of runners. A fantastic piece to have in your wardrobe. I love them. They're comfortable. Find a pair that work for your body type. So let me know in the comments below. First of all, say hi to me because I love hearing from you. I literally dedicate time to sitting still, which is hard for me. Um, and I go through all of the comments and try to respond to you guys and connect on basically every platform. I spend the most of time on my YouTube. Let me know in the comments below which trend you are wanting to adopt, what you love, and if there's anything out there that you wanna share with people. Where are your favorite Bermuda shorts? I will leave some links down below to my favorites of all of these things, but I wanna hear yours. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.